வணக்கம் நண்பர்களே இன்றைக்கி வீடியோவில் நம்ம என்ன பார்க்க போகிறோம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா யூனிட் ஃபைவில் இஎம்டியில் செக்ஷன் த்ரீ தான் பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ ஏற்கனவே ரெண்டு செக்ஷன் பார்த்துருக்கோம் அதை பார்க்காத நண்பர்கள் லிங்க் வந்து டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷனில் கொடுங்க கொடுக்குறேன் அதை பார்த்துட்டு வந்த நண்பர்களே அப்போ தான் அதோடய கண்டினியூவேஷன் புரியும் ஸோ வாங்க இன்னைக்கு வீடியோக்குள்ளே போயிடலாம் ஸோ லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸோட கண்டினியூவேஷன் தான் இன்றைக்கி பார்க்க போகிறோம் எலக்ட்ரோமேட்டிக் தியரி ஸோ இன்றைக்கி கண்டென்டில் நம்ம ரெண்டு டாபிக் தான் பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஒன்று வந்து பி அண்ட் ஹெச் இன் ஏ மேக்னட்டிக் மெட்டீரியல் தென் மேக்னட்டிக் ஸ்கேலர் பொட்டென்ஷியல் ஸோ மேக்னட்டிக் ஸ்கேலர் பொட்டென்ஷியல்லேருந்து கண்டிப்பாக ஒரு கொஷின் வரும் ஸோ இங்கே என்ன பி அண்ட் ஹெச் பி அண்ட் ஹெச் இஸ் பவுத் ரெப்ரஸன்ட் ஆஸ் ஏ மேக்னட்டிக் ஃபீல்டு ஸோ இதை பற்றி தான் இந்த ரெண்டு டாபிக் பற்றி தான் இன்றைக்கி நம்ம ஸ்டடி பண்ண போகிறோம் இந்த வீடியோவில் ஸோ அதுக்கு முன்னாடி நம்ம லாஸ்ட்டு வீடியோவில் என்னென்ன பார்த்தோம் அப்படின்றது ஒரு செம்மரி மொத்தம் பார்த்துட்டா கொஞ்சம் ஈஸியாக இருக்கும் ஸோ கூலும் சிலானா என்னன்னு பார்த்துருக்கோம் தென் எலக்ட்ரிக் ஃபீல்டு தென் காஸ்லா தென் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் காஸ்லா தென் பாய்சான் ஈக்குவேஷன் தென் லேப்லஸ் ஈக்குவேஷன் திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த சிக்ஸ் டாபிக்ஸ் வி டிஸ்கஸ் இன் த லாஸ்ட் டூ கிளாஸஸ் ஸோ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் யூ கெட் த லிங்க் ஃப்ரம் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஓகே ஸோ அப்போ இன்னைக்கு கிளாஸ்க்கு போகிறதுக்கு முன்னாடி ஜஸ்ட் பி ஹவ் டு ரீகேப் த லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸஸ் ஓகே அப்போ ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் நம்ம என்ன பார்த்தோம் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் தட் ஷுட் பி ஏ கூலும்ஸ் லா அப்போ கூலும்ஸ் லா எப்படி எழுதலாம் கூலும்ஸ் லா கேன் பி ரைட் இட் ஆஸ் தென் எஃப்சி கோல்ட்டு ஒன் பை ஃபோர் பை எஃப்சிலா நாட் கியூ ஒன் கியூ டூ பை ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் ஸோ கியூ ஒன் கியூ டூன்றது charges the nor and the distance this is the value k that is would be a constant apo from this equation then f is proportional q1 q2 by r square so how to define the force between the two point charge is directly proportional to the product of charge and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them just i have to recall then here there should be a proportionality just we have to put some of the constant then k is equal to q1 q2 by h square okay uh, just i have to recap next enna pathuna then electric field appa how to define electric field then e is equal to f by q then e indrade sorry f indrade force then q indrade charge e indrade electric field appa what is the unit of electric field then newton per coulomb or volt per meter apa how to define then electric field if a charge of q coulomb is placed at a point then the force f get the experience that is newton then we have to define the electric field next third one gauss law na enna paathom so gauss law so gauss law that should be then pi is equal to then q by epsilon not then how to define the total electric flux so that is the important then total electric flux about the total electric flux of the electric field that is e over any closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon not times that is the important 1 by epsilon not times of the total net charge enclosed by the surface next one the then applications okay then applications of gauss law na enna paathom appo application of gauss law there should be a five point one is there should be infinite infinite plane sheet of the charge in the what is the value that should be a then e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon not next if it is parallel sheet na there should be a two cases one is equal in magnitude and the same direction second point equal in magnitude and opposite direction na same direction both the e is equal to sigma by epsilon not if opposite na then e is equal to zero then third point is important that is uh, 
the electric field should represent in a spherical okay spherical symmetric charge distribution okay charge distribution then last point so the electric field strength in a spherical cell at an internal point that is the important internal point is zero okay these are all the uh, uh, topics we discuss okay one is coulomb's law that is the important then electric field this is the formula then gauss law this is the important then one by epsilon naught then application of gauss law this should be this is the one cases then second cases this is the other most important okay so okay good okay next uh, today we go to to move on the our content first one is then b and h in a magnetic field up a b in a in a so up with the b in a in a h in a in a if you didn't mean of a magnetic material that's all wrong up a b when they represent as here b number in on soul wrong b is here magnetic induction okay then b is there magnetic induction or magnetic flux density okay upper b and h both are in a magnetic material upper b can be says as magnetic induction or magnetic flux density upper h in within a h is the magnetic intensity okay magnetic intensity magnetic intensity or magnetic field strength okay so for b h is random magnetic material the upper b can be represented as a magnetic induction or magnetic flux density then h and the magnetic intensity or magnetic field strength okay okay so okay good okay once once again okay good okay uh, i have explained what is the b and h okay in a magnetic material then b is the magnetic induction or magnetic flux density then h is the magnetic intensity or magnetic field strength okay so this is represented as a b and h la we have to okay if b and h is number we have to define what is mean b and h up in this cases then how to define magnetic scalar potential okay magnetic scalar potential okay up magnetic scalar potential na inna na if you take any region in that region if the current inside the conductor then what is the b what is the b represented as here eh? that should be a b is the magnetic flux density apo magnetic flux density then b is equal to del into b which is not equal to zero okay so next in some cases uh, we cannot introduce a scalar potential function if we did the electrostatics so in cases uh, electrostatics uh, uh, some of the cases uh, we cannot define which is called as the scalar 
potential function so namba b ne eduthirukom adu vande nammala vande adha dhaan scalar potential function la nammala uh, we cannot say that nammala solla mudiyad epona in this case electrostatics okay so the next point uh, if you take some of the region in this region uh, if the current is uh, carrying uh, in the surrounding of the region or if it is a empty spaces apo what is the outside of the conductor that is so this is the in in some of the region inside the current carrying current carrying conductor then b is not equal to zero then in this cases in empty spaces that should be outside of the conductor then what is the condition then del which is b is equal to zero this is the two cases in this cases we have to study in the matrix scalar potential this is the inside the current carrying conductor <coughs> sorry then b is not equal to zero <coughs> sorry in this cases in empty spaces that should be outside the conductor then del dot b is equal to zero this is the two cases okay either end the most important while studying in the matrix scalar potential inside are going to what is the value for a magnetic induction or magnetic plus density then b which is not equal to zero if the inside the current carrying conductor the same one uh, that should be uh, then outside the conductor or it should be empty spaces now then magnetic field is equal to zero okay so but how to define uh, then magnetic field then b is equal to minus gradient pi mu so upper gradient can be like this then minus del m okay so this is the most important uh, a point while studying in the magnetic scalar potential minus del pi m so where pi m is called magnetic scalar potential okay apo the scalar potential pi m uh, can be used in that line integral okay enga uh, namba in the pi mu enga namba use panona in that line integral of any current uh, it may be either encircling inside or outside the field or the field within the current carrying media okay that is the cases we have to use in the magnetic scalar potential pi mu okay the magnetic scalar potential also uh, right in this way also okay okay so these are all the important Uh, points we have to remember while studying the magnetic scalar potential so this is the magnetic vector field okay first one is the magnetic scalar potential the next one is a magnetic vector field apo magnetic vector field it represented as a a up a can be write it as then mu by 4 pi then integral then d i by r i in the here current so this equation comes from the magnetic scalar potential idu me most important equations okay so uh, if you take a, uh, any region it should be specified by the current density that should be a j up j can be write like this that should be a i dt apo from this equation can be represent like this then finally we have to get this one okay good so what are the characteristics of magnetic vector field okay so first one the magnetic uh, vector potential characteristic first of cases is that should be it satisfy the poisson equation apo del square a which is equal to minus mu j okay apo the poisson equation is also called as poisson equation for vector field okay then a is represented as a magnetic vector field apo the line integral of magnetic vector a around a closed curve give the magnetic 
flux linked within the surface then we have to get this equation so in the equation pathina it represented as a both magnetic scalar potential and magnetic vector potential this is the magnetic scalar potential this is the magnetic vector potential this is the current so everything we have to write in this case this is the one of the important characteristics of magnetic vector field okay So today we have to discuss uh, two things then uh, B and H in a magnetic material the magnetic scalar potential above uh, I, al I already said uh, what is meant by a B and H above for example that should be uh, one of the um, important thing in these cases up B security can be write it as then mu plus one above what is the value for mu then mu is equal to then 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 then volt ampere per meter okay here where mu is the what is the mu here mu is the permeability okay permeability of the medium okay permeability of the medium so in this case there should be a uh, two cases uh, one is in dielectric medium in that uh, two things are okay wa? first one on the dielectric medium like every behavior then another one is a magnetic material like every magnetic material like every which force can be occurred in dielectric medium like which force electric force can extend that in that magnetic material which force that should be a magnetic force okay Apo in dielectric in dielectric medium la electric force can extend it upon a free charge is proportional to e and not d okay so in magnetic material the magnetic force that extend upon a moving charge is proportional to b and not to h okay Apo, it represented as a electric force d in the dielectric media okay Apo, in dielectric media la, proportional to e and not to d so in magnetic material la, uh, B in the in the magnetic induction or magnetic flux density is proportional and to which one is that should be proportional to B and not to H that should be a magnetic field strength okay good so thank you for uh, listening I hope this video is understand. Uh, in the video, you will see the like button. You will share your friends. So, in the video, you will see the video in the comment section. You will see the video in the comment section. You will see the video in the video. You will see the video in the video.